Hi, I'm Will. Uh, we're here once again at Modern's Cuisine Kitchens. Uh, I'm with Max Billet again. And we're going to go on a tour of the lab. Yes, sir. But before we do that, you, apparently we can't do anything at the MC Kitchens without, without, without eating first. Without experiencing it in, in its all of its glory. It's like Disneyland for people <laughs> who love food. So, um, so this is a we're gonna make a milkshake. I love milkshakes. And it's very straightforward. Okay. We use a rotavap and okay. a centrifuge. It's, it's perfectly normal. Pretty typical. Just uh, like Baskin Robbins. <laughs> exactly. So uh, in here you have a mixture of vacuum reduced goat milk. Okay. Vacuum reduced bourbon and uh, a little bit of uh, centrifuge banana juice. So you're gonna show us how you vacuum Absolutely. vacuum reduce stuff in a Absolutely. little bit. And like we spoke about earlier about the peas, we did the same principle with the bananas. You remove the starch from the bananas and you get this very very bright sweet juice, and that's gone in there as well. And how much banana to extract? That's is that less, you get more juice from peas. Uh, banana is about 35 to 40% okay. juice, yeah. Okay. Very cool. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more of, this is the this is the vacuum reduced bourbon, so this is from about five liters. Wow, okay. So this and is, so what's left in there? Is that a lot of booze or is it a lot of flavor? There's no booze, well, this is the fascinating thing. We just keep the, 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 the residual from the vacuum reduction. Okay. So all the booze is in the in the the second container. Oh, okay. Uh, but in the uh, in the yeah in the so this in the first uh, the, the, in the first bottle you get just the, the whatever's left. This is essence bottle. of bourbon. Essence of bourbon, no alcohol, very woody, lots of it, vanilla, lots of smoke, a lot of vanilla. Yeah, it smells it smells it smells like yeah. delicious bourbon. Exactly. But and and again, without that alcohol, you get a lot more uh, flavor. This is gonna explode a little bit. It's always fun. Okay. We have to throw a little bit of ni liquid nitrogen in the... And you're just dribbling it in as slowly yeah. as you can, pretty much? Exactly. So it's, it's cooling the, the mixture. And how much liquid nitrogen? I mean, this looks like probably about a, a liter of milkshake mix, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that frothy goodness. Oh, that's amazing. And... You don't want a lot of this stuff. It's it's potent. It's, it's very, a lot of milkshake. It's a lot of milkshake. Oh, that is so banana, so strong banana, and you get the bourbon on the finish. Yep. Oh, it's fantastic. And you get that that see the, the goat milk on the end. Of, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm like, just now getting the tart. On yeah, the, 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 yeah, the tart and like a uh, like a grassy. Mm. Yes. It's a little bit saltier than it exactly, used to normal exactly. to be. It's a, and there's no salt added. It's just from the the, 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 the natural salt from the, the, the goat milk that where they, they eat uh, oh, grass from from uh, like close to the uh -huh. to the ocean. That is so good. Yeah. You've got to let's let's. I want to learn how you how you do this. I want to see. Let's go look at it. Perfect. So you actually have. So this is the rotavap. This is the rotavap. This is the baby. This is. Something you'd expect to see in a lab or right. someplace that they're cooking crystal meth or something like that. Right, so. <laughs> One of those places, or, okay. or people who, who make their own uh, alcohol or essential oils, or yeah, so. so okay, uh, so vanilla. It, it can or... be culinary related, you know, if you're making a, uh, a, a lemon essential oil, for example. I'm convinced after the. After it's, the... it's fascinating what you can do with this machine. So, what's happening here is you have low pressure mm -hmm. and kind of middling, middle temperatures here, like body temperature ish? Very, yeah, well, very low temperatures for, for boiling off wa uh, water. So, you reduce the pressure until reduce the, the liquid comes off of the liquid. We, we're using, we're pulling a vacuum, and so the, the boiling point is dropped uh, to, depending on the liquid, okay. depending on the force of the vacuum, to anywhere between 20 and 40 Celsius. Oh, that's fantastic. So, you can you can extract things without raising the heat that the, that the essential elements will break right, down. Right, you can concentrate. Flavor, you can remove water from a flavorful liquid uh, without damaging any of the, those delicate volatiles, without uh, and losing any of the subtleties. And a really good example uh, is orange juice. I mean, I don't know if you've ever boiled down orange juice on a stove top. Never tried that before. 100 Celsius, you make an orange syrup, and it's terrible. There's nothing left. It tastes like cough syrup almost. The acid, the, the floral notes, everything's gone. It's every, okay. You put orange juice in here, you boil it down to syrup, it tastes like you know, an orange grove, you know, it's just it's so concentrated. I mean, obviously it's quite a bit sweeter, uh -huh. but but all of that fresh uh, aroma and flavor is preserved, so. Okay, so what happens is, this is a vacuum, it gets up into here, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, I don't know. And, the, and then there's a, there's a cooling uh, a cooling mechanism, and then it, it and then it drops back into, so you get, you get the, you get the distillate here. This so, is, so this is what this is what has been removed. That's right. That's right. So, if we do milk when we do the goat milk, then you get the whey. But the whey is very actually not very flavorful when we okay. do it this way. Um, if you do alcohol, that's where you get 
the moonshine. This is pure grain alcohol. That is pure grain alcohol, and it's pretty intense. You know, you know taste it off the thing; it just flashes off your tongue. You can just go you buy that at the liquor store if you go to the wrong side of town. It's real. It's real easy to come <laughs> right. by. Um, but, but if you but if you've added a flavor in here, then like so so uh, like we do a Buddhist hand vodka where we we'll, we'll puree, make a slush of, uh, uh, of of whole Buddhist hands and vodka, get that spinning. You get this beautiful distillate, very very perfumed. I tasted that. that. You tasted it. Yeah, it, it was unlike anything I've ever tasted before. Very but perfumed. That. And then you can also separate. Uh, there will be oil, a very thin stick of oil here, and so we'll use pipettes uh, okay. and, and, and uh, separating columns and, and get the essential out. Fantastic. Yeah. This is a freeze dryer. This is a freeze dryer. I. That seems pretty straightforward. This is a freeze dryer. It freeze dries this is, things. This is a this is a really good freeze dryer. We were very lucky. It's an old model, but uh, a lot of the, the pieces that we have in the lab are uh, bought off of uh, auction sites from laboratories. A lot and, of the stuff. And we, we refurb it. We have you know engineers here, and the technology hasn't changed in 50 no. years. In no, a lot no, of cases, the technology cases. Is, is is there. We've done corn. So the the, the basic principle of freeze drying is sublimation. Okay. Meaning. Well, let's compare it to a traditional dehydrator. The idea is, like with the Rotovap, you're removing liquid mm -hmm. at a lower pressure point. Okay. You pull, you pull the vacuum. So you're messing with boil, the boil curve. You're messing and all with that the boil stuff. curve. And but but you're doing with with a solid. I mean, you could do it with liquid as well. But you here we're doing it with solids, and you're, so you're doing it from a frozen state. Okay. And so uh, the shelf temperature, you know, the idea of, of, of you're going to ramp the temperature up them, but you're always going to have it under vacuum. And so it's going to sublimate out. It'll never return to its liquid state. Oh, so it goes straight from liquid to gas, it's, and goes, then it's sucked it, out. It goes vacuum. straight from solid to gas. Oh, fantastic! From its frozen state okay. to oh, sublimate. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's uh, it, it's that's why freeze dried foods will when you find them in the supermarket, and you get freeze dried raspberries. They still have the the, 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 the texture and the crunch. and and the and the sort of the, the the shape. They keep their shape. Whereas you look at, at, at traditionally dried fruits from a dehydrator, and they're completely like fallen and wilted, and, yeah, and they have a very they look like raisins. Almost. They look like raisins. They have a very unique texture. It's, they're almost taste cooked. Whereas freeze dried fruits and vegetables taste uh, fresh. And you can make things like this is where astronaut ice cream and things like that are made, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And we've and we've done things. I mean, you know, this is you know the basic principle where we, we like to make our own freeze dried corn, but you can buy it from a store. You can buy freeze dried berries from a store grind freeze-dried raspberries to powder and pop them into your, 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 your pie dough and you get, you know, for your, for your lemon tart and it's amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. You get a beautiful, so there's just lots of simple tricks, but we've also done things like astronaut ramen where we made a cup uh, which was just uh, xanthan gum and, um, and gelatin and it, when, because it pulls a vacuum, the, 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 the sort of the just little gel uh, looks like styrofoam. Oh, that's amazing. And then we molded cups, we made lids, we freeze dried noodles and, and pork belly and, and, and egg sheets and everything. And then you, you, you put that in a bowl, mm -hmm. you pour, you fill, you fill your styrofoam cup with all these ingredients, pour hot, the perfect temperature water o over it and just the right amounts, obviously. Uh -huh. And you have and it instant ramen. Pops up. That's but it has a, the, the flavor of fresh ramen. That's incredible. Okay, let's move on and see what else yes, we have. Sir. So this is the rotostator homogenizer. This is the rotostator homogenizer. And this is another one of those tools that like the centrifuge needs to become, I hope, will become part of a more common kitchen. Okay. Uh, definitely, At least a high end. Definitely kitchen. professional kitchens. You know, you make a smaller model, there are hand models, and, and all, and, you know, it's like a, a hand blender on steroids. It just allows you, it, it can go up to 18,000 RPM. And, and the way this works, yeah. it's just, it's really straightforward, right? It's, straightforward. it's a, it's a, just, this rotates and it forces the food that, in between the that gaps. That little gap right there is where the food is forced. Up uh, through through this, this this blade mechanism, we do we do a lot of constructed creams. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's the idea of having a, a, you know the, the texture mouthfeel of a cream, fat composition of cream, but with if it's for roast chicken, we'll do it with chicken fat and chicken juice, and that's <laughs> it's pretty darn tasty. And, and you can emulse pretty much anything that has two separate components. With yeah, yeah so. we always have I mean, emulsions of waste two phases, right. a water phase and then a fat phase, and and because you're forcing these particles together, they don't necessarily want to be together. And this uh, is a very powerful tool to make that happen. Fantastic. So we have a gelato for you. All it is is pistachio butter, pistachio oil, water, and sugar, and uh, a seaweed thickener. It's vegan, but I, I think it's OK. <laughs> You'll survive. Oh my god, that is the smoothest, creamiest. Mm. We're going to take like, almost like soft serve, oh. but, but 
it, it, no, soft serve is grainy. There's no, the, there's no grain. Here. It's just, it's just, it's. It, I think it might be the smoothest food food I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> so there's no cream. There's no, there's no, no egg. No dairy. There's no, no egg. And not necessarily with the intention of being vegan. Just for the intention of having that very pure flavor. Because most pistachio ice creams will, they'll have a bunch of almond extract added into it. Yeah. They'll have a bunch of cream and eggs that dilute the flavor, and we just wanted a very pure flavor of the pistachio. It was, it's really the, the pistachio gelato of our dreams. Before before we go, yes, Modest Cuisine at Home is coming out later this fall. Yes, sir. Um, it's uh, October uh, October 8th, I believe. Though. It is uh, one volume instead of six. It's one volume. more affordable, I would say. Much more affordable, all recipes, you know, a little bit of introduction and, and context, but 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 and 500 new recipes. And it's things people can do at home if they don't necessarily have a rotor homogenizer That's or right. a rotor we, We've found ways to improvise pretty much every recipe that we love in the book. We, we can't improvise. The only thing we couldn't improvise is centrifuge, and we're still working on that. But well, you know, 27,000 genes is kind of hard to come by. Hook a drill up to a, something <laughs> and you know, explode been, somebody's living yeah, room. Yeah, we've been, we've been thinking about lots of methods for that. But, but many of our, our favorite recipes are in there. Uh, the, you know, the, pressure cook, the pressure cooker and all of the sous, low temperature cooking, mm -hmm. sous vide cooking, is very prominent in the stage. It's, it's and easy to do at home without spending a ton of money. Very easy, to, very. We, we, we look at all of the layers of, of improv improvisation that can be done. So, Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much. It's wonderful to see you hey, as always, thanks Max. Thanks so much and, for coming. And thank you. Uh, we'll be back with more from Tested very soon. Until then, I'm Will. See you guys later.